Hey, how's it going everyone? So, another video, an update. Uh, I wanted to first start with uh, just going through the coins on my list and just uh, just to briefly discuss it. Uh, Space Mine had another issue with the, one of the, uh, I don't know what it was, but they seemed to sort it out something with the, the tax. Lambo, we skip. Uh, these are all just pending, so we don't need to go through those. Um, Anarchy, 7th of December, tomorrow, they are doing their token sale, so that's one to keep an eye on. I think it's uh, got good potential. Yield, um, 7th of December, tomorrow as well, doing the Trust uh, Swap launch pad, and that is one that seems quite promising as well. Um, FYS, I made a video on it uh, yesterday, and they're currently raising, so I haven't sent yet, but I'm just uh, monitoring it. I might firm it in last minute. Then, the main token I wanted to discuss today, along with another one, which is a new farm coming up, is GRPL. So, this is um, being shilled as the next uh, base protocol since it's a, a rebase coin and they want to rebase around the price of gold which uh, is a bit tricky to figure out how they're going to make that happen but uh, on their site they they describe it really in depth uh, about the Fibonacci sequence and you know all this complicated stuff and um, you see if you go on their site go to how it works uh, it explains here what they want to do with the Fibonacci sequence, Nash equilibrium and you know we're just used to aping not reading all this complicated maths and so if you want to understand it more um, <coughs> feel free to go on the site and read through it but I mean I'm not going to pretend like I can understand what they want to do with this rebasing system but it's got the hype of um, of uh, base protocol they've got a lot of members in their telegram but a red flag is that there's not much activity so that's a bit of a worry uh, so I have to just keep an eye on that and see how the activity uh, if it increases or you know stays the same way then it might be one to skip <clears throat> uh, I spoke to the dev their pre-sale is currently ongoing at the moment and he sent me this graph I mean anyone can ask and get this graph so I've uh, been chart so as you can see here private sale 7.5 percent public sale 15 percent and he told me that for the private sale it is 1.3 million they're raising and then the public sale is double that so total of 3.9 million dollars that they're raising and Uniswap, uh, Uniswap liquidity is 1.5 percent and yeah the, the tokenomics don't look that great to be honest but if you consider the success of base protocol and the shillability of, uh, of this token uh, based on that you know there's potential and from what I made note here, there's a lot of popular shillers on their telegram, you know, from crypto, Twitter and things like that. Um, they're going to list it at $2.25. All tokens are unlocked, which uh, is also a bit worrisome. And want to rebase uh, to the price of an ounce of gold, which is $63 or $62. So that is also like how do they plan to do that i mean the market cap is going to be what was it going to be 30x uh like 60 million or something like that so i mean it's they've got ambitious uh, ambitions are so good in that but uh i don't know to be honest that's why i wrote here my rating is dwell i'm just going to dwell on it and uh just see how the pre-sales going along and you know if it becomes a next next base protocol then good gains to be made so that's one to monitor then the next token uh, well it's a farm that's coming up hurricane finance uh, someone that I know actually 
told me they did the audit and uh, you know it, it's confirmed to be safe and everything's uh, in order with it so that's that's good and um, there isn't any pre-sale and there, there is no team tokens so it's just a farm and that makes it quite reassuring as well and the rug risk is quite low and they hear it on their site they say uh, it's rug proof so they've got quite an interesting concept actually so um, you can enter into two farms here uh, or storms as they call it Hurricane Hugo and Hurricane Katrina so uh, here's their audit as well I'm not going to bother going through that too complicated but um, I read about uh, how it works and you're going to have to bear with me here a bit I did read through this before the video but um, <laughs> it is a bit tricky for my ape mind so they have halving every two weeks so their rewards become less and less so the the price should say stable hopefully they've got three uh, storms that you can farm but i think they said in the beginning uh, there's hurricane katrina and hugo to start and then later on they'll implement andrew which is um, a governance token which you can farm and make decisions on how to move forward so hurricane katrina that one looks like it will be the one where you get the majority of the cane rewards and um, you know it says there's 70 percent of the rewards are allocated to that um, you you deposit one ethereum it mints 10 cane 40 dollars at the time of writing and then it's automatically put into the uniswap liquidity pool and you farm it and you get cane rewards and it says here you can unstake twice a day maximum and 20 percent maximum also per withdrawal which helps uh, provide liquidity stability on the network and you will only receive ethereum when you unstake uh, not the ethereum gain liquidity token and there's an exit fee which some people get flooded by that but i've been farming the dbd pool now for a couple days and i'm in profit already like i, I posted on my twitter and that has a huge exit fee uh, well th that's a it's a fee on the rewards of 50 percent and a deposit uh, fee of 15 percent as well and i've still made profit so i think the apy will just be higher so it kind of balances out in the end and it, it kind of helps maintain the the price and, and and sustain it for a bit longer then um, so four percent of the exit fee is distributed to other LPs still staking and the other four percent is sent to the Treasury so this means if you in the hurricane Katrina pool then people exit you get that four percent split between you and I find that very interesting I think the rewards will be quite decent and I made a note of uh, uh, here they also say uh, if you claim uh, too early then you get a burn fee uh, on it so that's also something to keep in mind on, on your rewards if you claim them too often so you know let it stack up a bit and then claim and then wait a few days and, and then claim <clears throat> not every day otherwise you're gonna get uh, <laughs> 25 it looks like burned then I made a note here um, of uh, some answers they gave on telegram which helps it helped me understand it a bit more so like I said earlier you deposit one ethereum then you they mint one ethereum worth of cane then they deposit it onto uniswap and you earn cane and rewards and ethereum as well when other people exit Katrina which is that four percent tax basically that you get in out of the eight percent and you earn more cane when others claim their farm rewards I assume that is from the burn as well and um, let's see uh, yeah so you only put in Ethereum and then you you get cane and then with the other um, pool 
which is Hurricane Hugo, you stake the cane and also on that you would earn cane rewards and Hugo token, which isn't tradable, but uh, it is used uh, for governance, I think, and uh, some other things like that. So yeah, that's definitely one to, to keep an eye on. It's coming out tomorrow, so I will be trying it out and seeing how it goes. I mean, with the success of DVD, I'm from keen to try more farms and, and, and see how they go. So yeah, that's just my video for today. So see you guys tomorrow.